It's still turning up the Gulf of Mexico. But the prevailing upper level winds took some of that moisture and spread it out up along the coastline. We caught some of that yesterday and brought the heavy rains to the eastern triad. But uh, fortunately for us, and for, especially for coastal areas, it saw a lot more rain than we did. Uh, that is now mostly offshore, although some passing showers and a few thunderstorms will be possible. Much of the Atlantic quiet. It is an, a strong El Nino year. We tend to, to bring down our numbers of storms. Still, though, as we move into September, this tends to be the sweet spot of the year uh, as far as the season is concerned. And we see more frequent storms developing, uh, one of which was Fred. And as Kim just mentioned, as it moved off the uh, move off the African continent. It developed very, very quickly, rapidly intensifying to a hurricane. Uh, since then, it is looking uh, sort of puny. In fact, it has died out quite a bit from those strong upper level winds. 65 mile an hour winds uh, downgrading it to a tropical storm. And as you can see in the forecast, it is forecast to weaken with each passing update about every six hours and should uh, weaken and fall apart as a tropical depression as it moves into the North Atlantic. The track that was also favorable when it moves this far north this quickly instead of that flatter, long, wet Westerly track. It has much less of a chance for influencing the U.S. In fact, this whatever's left over should get turned well out to sea. Your beach forecast looks pretty good. I know it's a long holiday weekend coming up, and a lot of folks trying to squeeze in as much summer as they can. 80 degrees at the northern outer banks, away from rain chances, with highs near 80 with more sunshine than clouds both days. It is warmer and a little cloudier farther south, and we do have storm chances for the weekend uh, at Myrtle Beach, Carolina Beach, Sunset Beach, all possibilities. We have local rain chances too. With temperatures in the 80s all week long, although we could touch 90 degrees here and there this week. You